era had these ponds that were ran here for about two miles or more up to the west of us here. And the banks were probably 15 to 20 feet high. They had one pond and then they had a pipe and it dropped down and then dropped down and dropped down. A few hours north of Los Angeles, near Bakersfield in California's Central Valley, oil drillers and farmers live side by side. But some farmers aren't happy with the consequences. When his almond trees died after he irrigated them with groundwater, Fred Starr sued neighboring Era Energy for polluting the water, and he won. This poisonous water had percolated into our groundwater. Kern County's oil fields account for about 8% of all oil produced in the United States. And the oil here is thick and heavy. Part of our oil field here is 12 gravity oil. It's, it's about like the consistency of liver in the meat case. And to make that thick oil more fluid, they pull water from the California aqueduct, convert it to steam, and inject it into the ground through pipes. Pump steam down it for like seven days. Then they'll let it soak for seven days. We put the equivalent of 1.4 million barrels of water converted to steam in the ground a day. Oil loosened by steam is pumped out. Not pure crude oil, but a watery mix. It all comes out of the ground through this flow line, through these lines here, up into the, tank, up into the tanks. At the tanks, oil and water are separated. The oil is sold, but the tainted water must be disposed of separately. Every day, hundreds of thousands of barrels of this so-called produced water are pumped into unlined open pits, raising concerns that this potentially hazardous water is seeping into the ground. Oversight of this process is conducted by the State Water Resources Control Board. Our responsibility is to protect water quality in the Central Valley region. At this time, we believe there are about 1,000 to 1,200 ponds in the southern San Joaquin Valley. We haven't taken the time to sit down and count exactly how many ponds we have. Does it contain constituents that we're concerned about that could impact water quality? Yes. Yes, it does. That's why it's regulated. But some, like Fred Starr, question the effectiveness of the state's regulation. ERA also had documents that indicated that they knew it was moving on to our ground as well. They drilled a thousand wells the next year and a thousand wells the following year more. Right now we have between 80 and 100 sites that are actively undergoing cleanup activities that include monitoring. In Fresno, one to two people are working on oil field related activities. Is that enough to do it? I, I can't answer that question. Do you feel like you're getting the job done that you need to get done? We're doing it to the best of our ability. We are doing the job to the best of our ability with the resources that are available to us. The oil companies say they recycle most of their wastewater and that their operations avoid contaminating freshwater aquifers. But until California's resources match the requirements of oversight, there's no way to know the effect that oil byproducts are having on the Central Valley's groundwater. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.